Hey, welcome back. I am Sushant Sutish and you are listening to Azure Administrator Associate Examination Tutorial. So we are entering a new module on this video. The fourth module is all about virtual networking. And we are going to go and see a lot of Azure networking components in the next few videos. The first lesson is all about virtual networks. In this video, we're going to go and see about Azure networking components. What are Azure virtual network and how is subnet related to these Azure networking components? How do you implement this virtual network? And throughout this tutorial, I will definitely take you back and forth between the presentation and the Azure portal to show you exactly what I mean by these. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. A major initiative for adopting cloud solutions such as Azure is to enable information technology departments to move server resources to the cloud. This can save money and simplify operations by removing the need to maintain expensive data centers with uninterruptible power supplies, generators, multiple fail-safe cluster database servers, and so on. For small and medium-sized companies, which might not have the expertise to maintain their own robust infrastructure, moving to the cloud is particularly appealing. Once the resources are moved to Azure, they require the same networking functionalities as an on-premises department. And in specific scenarios require some level of network isolation as well. Azure networking components offer a range of functionalities and services that can help organizations design and build cloud infrastructure services that meet their requirement. And Azure has many networking components, virtual network, load balancer, application gateway, virtual van, and virtual network gateway and traffic manager profile are a few of those. So let's understand about the virtual network. An Azure virtual network or VNet is a representation of your own network in the cloud. So let me take you to the portal and show you what is an Azure network mean. I'm in my Azure portal. I'm gonna click on virtual network or you can search for virtual network in the global search box as well. Or you can search for virtual network in the global search box as well. Within virtual network, you can see available virtual network within your subscription. I'm going to click on one particular subnet. So virtual network is a logical isolation of the Azure cloud dedicated to your subscription. You can use VNet to provision and manage virtual private network and optionally link the VNet with other VNets in Azure as well. Or you can link it with your on-premises IT infrastructure to create a hybrid cross on-premises solution as well. Each VNet you create has its own CIDR block and can be linked to other VNets and on-premises network if the CIDR blocks do not overlap. You also have control of DNS server settings for VNets and segmentation of your VNet into subnets as well. So these virtual networks can be used in many ways. You can create a dedicated private cloud only VNet. Sometimes you don't require a cross premises configuration for your solution. When you create a VNet, your services and VMs within your VNet can communicate directly and securely with each other in the cloud. You can still configure endpoint connections for VMs and services that require internet communication. Another way of using VNet is to securely extend your data center with VNets. You can build traditional site-to-site -site VPNs to securely scale your data center capacity. So site-to-site -site VPNs are IPsec to provide a secure connection between your corporate VPN gateway and Azure. And finally, you can enable hybrid cloud scenarios. 
So BeanX give you the flexibility to support a range of hybrid cloud scenarios. You can securely connect cloud-based application to any type of on-premises systems, such as mainframes and Unix servers. Let's understand about subnets. A virtual network can be segmented into one or more subnets. These subnets provide logical divisions within your network. And subnet can help improve security, increase performance, and make it easier to manage the network as well. Each subnet contains a range of IP address that fall within the virtual network address space. Each subnet must have a unique address range specified in the CIDR format. The address range cannot overlap with other subnet in the virtual network in the same subscription. Some of the consideration you have to take when you design a subnet is service requirement, virtual appliances, service endpoints, and network security group. So let's look at some of the subnets considerations. In service requirements, each service directly deployed into virtual network has specific requirements for routing and the type of traffic that must be allowed into and out of subnets. A service may require or create their own subnet. So there must be enough unallocated space for them to do so. Some of the consideration you have to consider for the virtual appliances are Azure routes network traffic between all subnets in the virtual network by default. You can override Azure's default routing to prevent Azure routing between subnets or to route traffic between subnets through a network virtual appliance. The next one is service endpoints. You can limit access to Azure resources such as an Azure storage account or Azure SQL database to specific subnet with a virtual network service endpoint. Please note that Azure reserves the first three IP address and the last IP address in each subnet address range. So how do you implement a virtual network? You can create a new virtual network at any time. You can also add virtual network when you create a virtual machine. Either way, you need to define the address space and at least one subnet. By default, you can create up to 50 virtual network per subscription and per region. Although, you can increase this limit by 500 by contacting the support team. So let me create a Azure virtual network for you. So let me show you how you can implement an Azure virtual network. So basically you select the subnet and select the resource group where you want to place this. So I'm going to create a new resource group. So the resource group is called AZ104 and the name is, and I'm going to place it in Australia East. I can specify an address here, but I'm going to go with the default value. But if I want to add more details, I can add that. There is an option to add IPv6 address as well. Right now, I don't want to do it. By default, uh, it created a subnet within it. If I want, I can add more subnet based on the information I provide here. And any service endpoints we discussed about, this is where you can add the service endpoint. So I'm going to select Microsoft SQL for the service endpoint and click on add. So let me provide a subnet address. So I can create a subnet by adding a subnet name and I can select an endpoint which I want to associate with that subnet. And next is security. This is where you have additional option on turning on additional features like firewall or DDoS protection or bastion host. So I don't want to do that on this demo. So I'm going to click on review and create. This is not going to take much time. Looks like our subnet has been created. I'm going to go to the resource. So I can see that sample VNet demo we created is already available under virtual network. And I can go and see the other details like what's the address space, connected devices, the default subnet for that virtual network, etc. Please note that 
default limit on Azure networking resources can change periodically. So it's a good idea to consult the documentation for the latest information. And always plan to use an address space that is not already in use in your organization. Even if you plan for a VNet to be cloud only, you may want to make a VNet connection to it later. If there is any overlap in address space at that point, you will have to reconfigure or recreate the VNet. All right, so now we have learned about the virtual networks. In the next module, so in the next lesson, we are going to learn about IP addressing. So I will see you in the next video. Till then, take care.